What is going on, YouTubers? Abdur Sound here from with updated Sky ICS ROM with UCLF 6 official AT&T ICS base for Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. First of all, I would like to thank since Sean Screams for making this ROM, his awesome developers. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the process. On first video, I'm gonna show you how to flash. On second video, I will I will be reviewing the ROM. So first of all, what you need to do is get into Clock Marie Curry. So now there are three ways to get into it. First one is uh, if you have custom ROM and 14 my toggles, you can just do it like that, and just press reboot recovery just press ok second one is you can hold down power button for I think five four second and if you have a extended power menu you will see option to reboot and third one is your hard hard one which uses the buttons so press all three buttons so mine just froze so you're gonna have to press all three buttons keep folding them screen goes off and first vibrate let go of the power button second vibrate you'll see Samsung and let go of the other two and you will be in clockwork more recovery right there now let's go ahead and get to the flashing part. First what we need to do is wipe data factory reset just say yes you can select with your power and scroll with your volume rocker you gotta do that three times then wipe cache it three times We do it three times because we want to make sure that you are the clock of Marie Curie is wiping. Now go ahead and go to install zip from SD card. And here, just go ahead and find your ROM where you have stored it. This is internal, that is external. Press that. And as you can see, you will find it right there ATT official 4.2 F6 and yes it will wipe your phone So it is installing right now, as you can see. Sorry for the camera, guys. I'm holding my S3 on in my hand and shooting the video. As you can see, it will take time to flash the ROM. Some feature it has is uh, its pre rooted extended power menu, busy box, debloated, 15 my toggles. Uh, host blocking means there is no ads lock screen choices, battery mod choices, boot animation choices uh, it's been jeep aligned initial D support nano text support tethering by default shutdown animation 
bash bash arrow rw means read and write and it says your mom so it has option in there as your mom no I'm just kidding about that part but it just it does says your mom make sure you don't uh, do anything else afterwards just press reboot the phone and once that's done you are going to have to install and non wipe update for the ROM because there is update already and let me tell you sunscreen is fast because the base just came out yesterday and he already has all these features and all these add-ons so let's go ahead and wait till the phone boots up and then we will have to go back and flash the 1.5 fixed system UI toggles and everything else that was missing is in 1.5 base now it is non wipe update first boot will take time because it's just flashed the system and new system always takes time to settle down Once you see your cap lights on, that means it's ready to start up. So just give it a three, four, good five minutes. If it boots up, don't even touch it. Just let it settle down. As you can see right there, installing applications. ROM manager what is that oh that's the voice thingy that he always has in his ROM Sony sketch font I think and BC box and now you have two options that's your regular touch is UI launcher if you don't know what that is on the top that's your battery bar line and there you have your to what touch with UX right there this is what I was supposed to select allow touch with UX because I have on my Galaxy S3 on my skyrocket on on my note so let's go ahead and go back and install the update that's non wipe just keep folding the other th three buttons just like that let go the power button once the screen turns off them first vibrate second vibrate and you will see Samsung logo let go the other two and now you can just go to install zip from SD card make sure you're not wiping right now go to your card and let's go ahead and find the update 1.5 right there and there you go it's flashing the update now just press back button press power button and reboot mm -hmm. that's the new jelly bean boot animation I don't really 
I'm not really impressed with that. Google could have done better rather than just putting regular X. So the caps light are on, it's about to boot. So it will take a while to boot up. Camera shaking. Let's go, start on. I always do that on purpose because I feel like every time I do that, the phone boots up faster, which is just my theory. So if you haven't heard, we got a new blog, andertechblogspot.com. There you have it, it's booted. So choose UX. Now you got your 15 more toggles. Back up. See if you got the power menu already. Yes, sir, you got the power. Extended power. so that is it and i will see you in the next video where i will be reviewing this rom